Welcome back to What's New. Time now for your daily pop break. We have some breaking news. TMZ reporting that Britney Spears' dad, Jamie, will step down as her conservator. According to legal documents, he wants to work on an orderly transition. The documents go on to say that regardless of his formal title, he will always be Britney's dad and will look out for her best interests. A lot of interest in that one. We'll keep you updated. Also tonight, Friends stars Jennifer Aniston and David Schwimmer are reacting following the reunion special that came out earlier this year that they were both admitted they had feelings for each other during some of the early filmings of the hit TV show. Well, now rumors have been going around on the web saying the two are dating right now, but they both denied that claim to several media outlets saying they are not romantically involved. So sorry, Rachel and Ross fans, <laughs> they are literally just friends. I think that was wishful reporting. Maybe. On the case of some <laughs> reporters. Closer to home, country music star Luke Bryan. How about this? was in Northeast Ohio yesterday. He headed to Huron and went to the Riverview Lanes Bowling Alley. He was there with his family in order to celebrate his youngest son Tate's 11th birthday. They also went to Cedar Point. Brian stopped and took pictures with fans who've been posting these pictures all over social media. Fun to run into him. Okay, it's okay, it's okay, it's okay. Who can forget this incredible performance? That's Zanesville's Jane Marchewski on America's Got Talent, who got the golden buzzer earlier this season. She dropped out of the competition last week to focus on her cancer battle, but the singer known as Nightbird made a return to the show last night virtually to check in with the judges and America. It's beautiful to see uh, the world welcome that song into their own dark night. And uh, I... <laughs> I'm overwhelmed by it. Thank you so much for auditioning on the show and for, for singing such a beautiful song. And, you know, it was. <laughs> we love you. There is a GoFundMe mm. to help pay for Jane's cancer treatments that has already raised more than $456 thousand dollars we do have a link to that on wkyc.com and our three news app she looks good she does and she seems to be in good spirits yes and she says she is writing her future not her legacy Which so i, I loved. think i yeah. loved hearing yeah. that that gives us a lot of hope for her but it's a journey you know and so i'm glad to see that america is supporting her and we know agt is too yeah the the amount from the gofundme page it just goes it's to amazing. show so many times when there is someone in need our country stands up and we yeah. rally around and uh, it's nice that that we're so willing to lend a helping hand when someone who is is, is in need reaches out and she seems so humble too she really does yeah